Hi, this is uh, Ken Truman. Welcome to another Derbyshire County Angling Club video. Uh, today, by request, I'm going to be tying a, a clink camera. So, uh, this is the finished fly. Now, the body colour, anything, any any colour you like. You can have everything, any colour you like. This is uh, this is a grey sort of a blue done body colour. You can have olive or black or brown or bright orange if you want to do. So clink camera hooks are uh, notoriously large. If you buy a size 10 partridge clink camera it'll look like a size 6. So don't buy any special clink camera hooks if you're just starting this is a B170 size 10 and what I want to do is I'm just going to put a bend in it an eighth of an inch from from the eye not too much and that's what we're going to tie the post on I've got a fish on these but to practice very good. So don't go out and rush out and buy a load of clink camera hooks until you're proficient. Thread is a uh, <coughs> Unithread 8 0 in olive. I'm just going to uh, start. So a lot of people tie the post in and the hackle first. Well, I don't. Uh, I tie the body in first it's quite simple it's not a it's not difficult fly um, I suppose the difficult part is people imagine is the hackle it's just a matter of getting it right feathers so I'm going to go down down this this is the bit that sits under the water I'm just I'm, all I'm going to do is use a simple dry fly dubbing. You can use any dubbing you like, but um, I just want to keep it minimal. So that's that's what I'm going to use. I think it's Venuard uh, super fine dry fly, waterproof dry fly dubbing. Use any dubbing. You only need a tiny bit. Yes, you can barely see that on my finger, but it's surprising. Might need a bit more. But you don't need a lot because you want the you want it to sink. And notice I've just tilted fly towards me with this vice. Um, it's just to make it easier to dub. That's all. That's all you want. You don't want a lot. Good enough. The uh, the wing, as it were, is uh, aero dry. You can use any antron. You can use any colour. Uh, good colours on river. A bit smaller than this on river. <coughs> I've tied these down to a size 20. But, um, you can use any colour antron. That's antron. That's Antron. Uh, doesn't really matter. Yeah, it should float. It should be uh, buoyant material. But so we'll use Antron. So that's, you need to be now. The thread needs to be halfway between the eye and the bend. And I'm going to use uh, a double piece. a double piece of this. I'm going to double it round the round the hook. Like that. Make sure it's about halfway up to the hook. And round. Don't pull on it too much else you pull it up. Then I'm going to just wind that around there two or three times. 
So when I tie the hackle in, bring it to the front. Hackles. So I don't. It's the same as I say. If you're just starting out, then don't spend a lot of money on these. Uh, a, a whiting. This is a whiting. Um, I think this is from Fly Emporium in, in the United States. Uh, nice grizzle. That's a quarter. That's a quarter saddle. And the cost will be about fifteen to twenty quid. Um, don't 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 start out. If you go to BFFI next week, you get some of them. Cape tops. The the returns from hairdressing trade. They don't use these bits, and um, you could probably get a. One, two, three. That's the that's that were in there as well. I think they were eight quid for four, and they're perfectly adequate for tying clean cameras. That'll tie. If you look at them feathers, that'll tie down to a 22, 24. So you don't need to spend a lot of money on feathers. So I've got one prepared here. I've got the quarter of an inch of bare stalk so I want the bare stalk at the front there I'm going to tie it in and I also want the bare stalk to continue up the post the way I wind post is I just wind it like that it's probably gone a bit dark now because of light but uh, just do a post Seven or eight turns, come back down, whoops, to behind the post. Now uh, with thorax, it's pure old simple peacock curl. I like these feathers rather than the bits that you get on stalks. So if you're going to buy some, you get ten of them for a couple of quid um, what, I, what I, I do use the bits on the stalk but um, I like these and the, the, these are better for stripping as well so I need to cut off the, the tips because they're the weakest bits uh, just a couple of strands of that I'm going to tie it in there and I'm going to tie it in right up to the front because I'm going to use the thread to strengthen it so I'm going to wrap so let's see if I can get this bobbing wrap that right up to the back of the post Round the front, I'm trying to surround the post, if you look at it like that. Now I'm going to wrap the thread through it, just to get a bit of strength. Snip that off. Now I want to make sure the thread now is at the back, right at the back of the post. There, I don't know if you can see that. And if I were to use the saddle, that one, I probably wouldn't need ackle players, which they are long as well, so you probably have to cut it to uh, manipulate it but uh, being as it's only a short tackle I'm going to use the high pliers and all we need to do literally just take your time for the first couple of turns and same as any other hackle that's, that's alright that's great 
don't, don't twist it. it, wants to go straight round. And the thread is at the back of there, so I'm going to over top of eye and just directly round. Try not to tap any fibres. Finish at the back again and you can let that go. And all I need to do is to complete a bit of varnish on thread there and just whip finish. Make sure it goes in. As you normally would. That's all you need to do. Oops, under there. Pull it tight. Snip it off. Tilt the rice towards you. Snip the hackle tip off. If you get any errant fibres, you don't want any fibres under hook. Snip that off. Post. Probably length of the hook right there because you're better off leaving it long you can always trim it when you're on water and that's it I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I'll see you soon if you want to subscribe feel free it's not just for DCAC members anybody can subscribe and watch the videos uh, I'll speak to you soon bye bye